Wendy Stevens was 14 years old when she ran away from her home in Denver. A year later, in 1984, her remains were found in Washington, near what's now the Seattle-Tacoma Airport. But all investigators knew about her then was that she was most likely the victim of the Green River Killer. Gary Ridgway, eventually convicted of 49 homicides, left four of his victims nameless. This was a person that didn't choose to have her life taken, and she certainly didn't choose to go nameless for all these years. Karen I'm Binder sure is a forensic genealogist for with the DNA Doe time. Project, an initiative that relies on volunteers Volunteers to help identify victims using investigative genetic genealogy. Binder and other investigators with the King County Sheriff's Office entered Wendy Stevens' DNA details into a website called GEDmatch, a site Wendy's parents put their information into as well, all in hopes, they told police, of someday finding their daughter. Unknowingly, they didn't give permission for law enforcement to see their information. But another site called Family Tree DNA finally provided some answers. We found a couple of third cousins on one side and a couple of third cousins on the other side with common ancestors that um, then had descendants who married one another. And those turned out to be the Jane Doe's parents. After a few weeks confirming the findings, Jane Doe became Wendy Stevens, the girl from Denver who's been missing for more than 30 years. She deserves to be known and for her, um, for the outcome of her life to, to have meaning to her family. Liz Kotelik, 9 News. Ridgeway is serving a life sentence for the murders. Both the Denver Police Department and the Colorado Bureau of Investigation are still looking for Wendy Stevens' case file. CBI told us her name did not come up in their cold, day, cold case database.